What's up, everyone? For the 65th time, Iowa and Iowa State met on the gridiron, but it's only the 14th time it's for the Cyhawk Trophy. And there it is. Iowa has held it for two straight years, and you know it's a big one when former Cyclone Monte Morris is in the building. Cyclone started the scoring nine minutes to go in the first quarter. Jacob Park finds Alan Lazard on a five-yard pass, and the Cyclones take an early 7 to nothing lead. But that would eventually go to Iowa. Three-point game late in the half. Nate Stanley finds a diving Matt Vandenberg into the end zone. That's his first touchdown since September 17th of last year. And the, and the Hawkeyes up 14 to 10 at the half. Hawkeyes would extend that lead to 11, but the Cyclones answer with three straight TDs. In the fourth, David Montgomery barrels through Hawkeyes defenders into the end zone. And Iowa State goes up 31 to 21. Iowa answers back to tie the game again, but that was short-lived. Five minutes to go in the fourth. Jacob Park unloads one to a wide-open Hakeem Butler, 74 yards into the end zone. That's the second time they connected today, and the Cyclones are back on top by seven. Just over a minute to go in the game. Akron Wadley catches a short pass. He steps through one tackler. He steps away from a few others, shaking a few more, and will not be denied. 46 yards into the end zone, and we're tied up at 38 and headed to OT. Cyclones only get a field goal to start the overtime, and that leaves the door open. Nate Stanley finds Amir Smith-Marset from five yards out, and the Hawkeyes win. A 44-41 thriller makes it three straight Cyhawk Trophy wins for Iowa. Uh, the guys, the guys execute. The players win the games. You know, they win them, they lose them, and uh, the guys execute under pretty tough circumstances. But they, they've been doing it all, all game long in those long drives. Really pleasing to see us, you know, put some of those together too. It stinks to lose, especially when you have the opportunity to win. That to me, I love the challenge of what could we have done better as coaches to put our kids in situations to be better. But I have zero disappointment of those young men in our locker room downstairs. Iowa State will be on the road at Akron next week at 11 a.m. Iowa will be home to take on North Texas at 2.30.